Hi, everyone. My name is Christy Maver. I'm Vice President of Marketing here at Numenta. Thank you all for joining us today. Whether you're joining us live during the webinar or you're watching the replay, good morning, good afternoon. Thanks for, for taking a half hour out of your day and spending some time with us. Um, I'm excited to introduce our two speakers for today's webinar who are going to talk about building and deploying your AI applications on NewPIC 2.0. Uh, so joining us today, we have Andy Shu and Sophie Marinero. Um, Andy is our Vice President of Engineering. Andy brings over two decades of experience in AI, machine learning, and engineering. Um, Andy is recognized for his ability to build and implement business critical technology solutions. Um, before joining Numenta, Andy was senior director of engineering at Latch, where he led the engineering team there to build a robust, scalable, data driven software platform. And prior to that, he served in different engineering roles at Microsoft. Uh, so we're thrilled to have Andy join us here today. Thanks, Andy. And then Sophie Marinero. Um, Sophie is our corporate account executive um, and sales strategy uh, at Numenta. She has worked very closely with a number of customers on a wide variety of deployments um, in the AI and in the SaaS space. And before joining Numenta, um, she led coverage of the VC backed market at Snowflake working directly with high growth data-driven companies and deploying applications on the data cloud. Um, prior to Snowflake, uh, Sophie was at Twilio and we're happy to have her um, talk to you all today um, here as well. Um, just a couple housekeeping things uh, before we get started. Please feel free to um, submit questions. You can use the Q&A function, of course, if you want to post a, a question publicly. Um, you can also do it anonymously, or you can send us any direct messages um, to the host and panelists through the chat function. Um, so with that, Sophie, I will hand it over to you. Awesome. Thank you, Christy, and thank you everyone for joining today. Andy and I are excited to talk to you all about building and deploying your AI applications on NewPIC. So let's get into it. So let's get started with some background on Numenta here. You may or may not know that Numenta was actually founded back in 2005 with a dual mission. So to gain a deep understanding of neuroscience and the brain and how our brains operate so efficiently, and then look at that from a computer science standpoint and apply those learnings to AI and ML. We are founded by Jeff Hawkins and Donna Dubinsky, who co-founded Palm and Handspring, and they're pioneers in mobile computing, but Jeff's passion was always on neuroscience. And so we spent the first 16 years on just that, on the research, we published papers, we built an extensive patent portfolio, we made breakthrough discoveries in really understanding the neocortex, and in 2021, Jeff published his book, A Thousand Brains, which landed on Bill Gates's list of must reads that year and really encompasses the neuroscience research and has paved the way for us to transition to the second part of that mission and start applying what we had learned to AI and ML. Last year, we launched the Numenta Platform for Intelligent Computing, or NewPIC, and this has really allowed us to apply those neuroscience-inspired algorithms to the flexibility of CPUs in a meaningful way for you all. So NewPIC is our commercial AI platform that enables easy, efficient, and secure deployment of LLMs on CPUs. So this is really where we'll focus the conversation today. But we are excited that just a few weeks ago, we hit another big milestone in launching the Thousand Brains project. So this is an open source research project to develop a new AI framework based on the Thousand Brains theory. This will be funded for two years by the Gates Foundation. And this is really exciting for us. We're thrilled to be able to continue the research that's really core to Numenta's mission. But again, for today, we'll focus on NewPIC. So... Before getting into to the weeds here, I, I do think it's important to take a step back because there's no question that there's been quite a bit of hype around AI these days. It seems to be growing every day and the term has been thrown around so much that it's almost lost its value. So we know that everyone is thinking about it from startups to enterprises and certainly investors, but why is that? And why should you be thinking about it? Why should you care about AI? So I want to talk through a couple of the biggest areas of impact that AI can have on your business if properly executed. 
And the first one is, is efficiency. I think we're all guilty of using some type of AI chatbot to bounce ideas off of or pull faster insights from or automating any small tasks throughout our day to day. So when we look at that on a larger scale, it's bound to increase efficiency from a business standpoint and streamline some internal operations. The second is from a cost standpoint, AI has the potential to reduce costs by freeing up resources. I'm not talking necessarily about replacing people with robots here, but there's certainly a power in using your existing hardware to build new solutions in AI. The third is growth. So if applied properly, AI can definitely help sustain growth and help you make positive consumer experiences to help businesses really maintain that competitive edge and keeping you at the top of your innovation game. And finally, at the end of the day, AI certainly has the potential to help generate some new business opportunities and help you make data-driven decisions and ultimately increase profitability. So all of this sounds you know, really great in theory. Why wouldn't you integrate AI? And we're finding in our discussions today that, you know, businesses are facing some very real challenges in deploying and scaling these AI solutions in practice. In fact, very few businesses are actually making it past that initial prototyping stage and into development. So why is that? Well, for one, it's expensive. If you can manage to track down GPUs these days, it's expensive to stand up, let alone sustain an AI application in production on GPUs. That's no secret. Hallucinations comes up quite a bit. We're seeing some negative repercussions in the news. What feels like every week, some of these models are, are prone to hallucinate, and it makes it really difficult to build a customer-facing application around something that isn't always reliable. Even internally, it can be just tough to depend on. This is one that we're hearing a lot is not everyone is comfortable sending their proprietary data to an external API. You're at risk of losing control over how you're building an application. And better yet, if you're using models that are constantly changing or updating or at risk of being removed altogether, that can have some serious implications to a product you're building. And finally, market confusion. I think there's ton of confusion in this what feels ever changing market there are new models coming out every day so you know how can anyone really be expected to to keep up so that's exactly where you know numenta comes into play Newpick is the platform that we've built to help you tackle these very real challenges and make it easy for you to deploy ai applications at scale on cpus Newpick provides total privacy and security in how you're deploying ai so since the platform is containerized, we have no visibility into your data or your models, how you're using NewPick at all. Everything lives on your private cloud network or on-prem. It's totally your choice. NewPick also makes it easy for you to deploy NLP solutions because we've done the heavy lifting. We've done the market research. We have a dedicated AI team so that you don't need one. And we've integrated the most performant models into our platform alongside some sample code to make it really easy for you to integrate into your application. And finally, NewPick minimizes total cost of ownership through this CPU-based approach. So really allowing you to make use of what you already have and save yourself the hassle of tracking down GPUs to deploy whatever AI solution makes the most sense for your business. So it is worth noting that there are no GPUs required to actually deploy your AI application on top of NewPick. So now I'll pass it over to Andy to walk you through the architecture under the hood here. Thank you, Sophie. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. All right, so let's dive into the new pick architecture a little bit. In the center, you will see the new pick optimized inference server. This is the backend where we apply many optimization techniques run large language model inference blazing fast on CPU. We also take full advantage that we running on CPU, we have a lot of flexibility to manage the underlying hardware resources. And we want to provide those ultimate flexibility to run your model. For example, you can configure it to run many instances of different models at the same time. And you have control, you can adjust 
resource allocation, for example, memory and CPU for each model to achieve the ultimate best latency and throughput. Now, what will you run on new pick? On the left-hand side, we provide a rich set of large language model in new pick model libraries. Here, you can find new pick optimized models which have multiple times of speed improvement over running on GPUs. You can also choose state-of-art open source models, or maybe you have specific application needs. You can choose to fine tune based on your application data and deploy your fine tune model in the model library. We built NewPick as an enterprise software from the get-go. So it's very important that your model and your data stay private to your uh, enterprise. New, New Manta effectively have no access to your model and data. Architecture-wise, NewPick is packaged as Docker container. You can deploy it in the infrastructure of your choice whether that's public cloud, private cloud, or on-prem, choice is yours. So that's all cool, but now why do you want to run large language model on new pick? At the end of the day, enabling AI workflow in your organization is all about adding business value. We have made it super easy to build your AI-driven application on top of NewPick. Specifically, we focus several use cases, customer support, question answering, and document retrieval. So now I want to focus on the document retrieval use case a little bit more. So this is where you gain the actionable data insights. The, this diagram show a very typical retrieval argument generation, so-called RAG workflow. Uh, probably many of us already familiar with this, but so I quickly like, walk through this workflow. On the top left corner, this is offline process where you want to run the embedding models to for the collection of your data. So for example, your internal knowledge base your product documentation, your corporate policy, so on and so forth. This process will generate embedding. Those are well represent the documentation and store the embedding in a vector database of your choice. So this, as I mentioned, usually is the offline process. You only need to do once. At the bottom left, this is where doing runtime you sort of ask a question, make a query, and you want to run the same embedding model and the vector database will be able to quickly look up, find the top matching embeddings. Those top matching embeddings effectively represent the most relevant documentations or part of the documentations for your query. From this point on, you can run a variety of downstream tasks, summarization, question answering, classification, recommendation. So this architecture is so ex extensible and flexible. It's really a superset of the so-called RAG. So this is all good, but I want to specific specifically show you why you want to run new pick for your document retrieval use case. First of all, you, in new pick, in new mentor, we are the firm believer that right tool for the right task. You don't want to just throw the large GPT models to solve every problem. In fact, we argue you don't want to do that. For example, Embedding models are excellent choice to do the document embedding and downstream tasks like classification, sentiment analyze, and recommendation. Embedding models in general are much smaller. 
they run faster, they use less resource. In fact, you can run new pick optimized embedding models on CPU and it will give you 10 to 20 times speed up than running traditional board model on GPU without sacrificing accuracy. As an enterprise, you want to make a decision on cost efficiency, end-to-end -end latency, and scalability. So using the embedding model in the right use case or right task are the better choice in this case. But GPP model can be a good choice for some other tasks. Those tasks usually are generative ones, summarization, question answering. So here you can choose GPT models from the NewPick library. For example, the state of art open source or NewPick optimized one. The key point here is by using NewPick on CPU, you are not bounded by the memory limitation on your GPU card. You don't have to deal with all the complexity to share the workload between among the GPU cards. NewPick take care of all these underlying complexities. And because we run on CPU, it's also provide that flexibility. So you can effectively run the embedding model and the GPT model concurrently, even with multiple instances to meet your scalability requirement. So that's a lot of talking. I want to show a quick example, basically show how I actually run a document retrieval use case on NewPig. Stop sharing. Share our This is the one. Okay, so I have a uh, Jupyter Notebook. Uh, which kind of walks through all the tasks included in that document retrieval diagram. The first step is to build these embeddings and populate in the vector database. This is the offline process which already done, but I want to kind of showcase what are the code here. It doesn't really take a very complete coding. In fact, just a few lines to accomplish that. Now, at the application layer, we have integrated with line chain, which is a very popular framework to do this document uh, retrieval or document uh, related tasks. So basically what you can do is you can import the line chain extension for new pick. Those are the Python library and we provide specific Python object for embedding models and GPT models. And the next step is we need to load up all these embeddings from the vector database. This is an example case. So you can see we, for this example, we put all the new pick product documentation as the underlying data in the vector DB. So we load up about 300 embeddings from VectorDB in less than half seconds. Uh, one thing to call out, this is for example, so we actually use a very lightweight in-memory VectorDB. In your actual production, there are more enterprise scaled VectorDB for your, cho for your choice. And then you will create a tasks to do this document retrieval. This again is a uh, is an existing line chain concept. From there, we have a Python functions just to format output so it looks a bit better. So that's pretty much it. This is where, as I mentioned, you have all the new pick product documentation in the vector DB. We can start to ask questions to our internal knowledge base powered by new pick large language model. Can I run new pick on my on-prem infrastructure? Yes, you can. So it will give a very accurate answer. As a matter of fact, uh, you can see the whole user experience is you don't have to wait for the whole answer to be generated. You will get the, the answers in real time back to you. 
Can you pick a model impact latency? That's another good question. And the answer is accurately generated based on the understanding of this documentation. What is interesting is if you ask a question like, where can I get the best, best Mexican food? Obviously, you cannot find the answer in the new pick product documentation. Guess what this right application will do? It will tell you the truth. We don't have those information and there are resources online. You can find those information. So let's showcase one of the advantage to build such document retrieval task using AI, uh, using the right approach. It will minimize the hallucination. And with all these applications, eventually your goal is to deploy in production. So what we also provide in NewPick is a set of reach to site for monitoring and alert. So you have this pre-built dashboard, which will show the CPU and memory usage. It will also show the throughput and the latency of your system. Okay, with that in mind, I will uh, I will throw back to Sophie for the rest of the presentation. Sophie, you're on mute. <laughs> that would help. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Awesome. So, so what type of excuse me? What type of results can you expect with NewPick? So, if we think about the model library that Andy referenced, here's an example of one of those NewPick optimized models. It's a Numenta optimized seven billion parameter GPT model running on a fifth gen Intel Xeon server compared to a Llama 2 7 billion parameter model running on an NVIDIA A100. Now, this example was being used to test throughput. So with our new pick optimized 7 billion parameter model, you can expect up to a 6x speed up versus Llama 2 on an A100. Now, we're really excited about these results. This is certainly not common in the industry, and it's having quite an impact on our customers. So we're excited about the impact it can have for all of you as well. Now, typically, when we think about you know, building AI applications, it can certainly be a, a daunting undertaking. It's complex. It's demanding. You might feel like you need to onboard a whole new team and whole new architecture to, to really manage it. And that's why we're confident that NewPick is a game changer for building and deploying these AI applications at scale. There's nothing new to learn. CPUs are inherently more flexible to manage. You have full control over your deployment and the costs are far more digestible. This isn't even taking into consideration the availability so, you know, of GPUs, that is. So with NewPick, you can deploy your AI solutions today if you want, but at the very least on your own timeline. But now we, we really want to hear from you. We're excited to partner with you all on, on building these AI applications that will make an impact to your business. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us here for a brainstorming session and a use case consultation. But we really appreciate the, the time and engagement. And I think now we'll open it up for some questions. Yeah, so we have um, some questions that have come in um, through the chat and online as well. And actually, there are two that are similar that I'm going to I'm going to throw to you first, Andy. Um, there's one that came in that was asking um, if NewPix is Onyx standard based. But we also got some questions just around the hardware and technical requirements to run NewPix. So maybe you can address the Onyx question first and then, you know, what are the requirements to run NewPix? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, NewPix is designed to be a a rather open platform to run variety type of model frameworks. So for example, you can import a PyTorch based model. Uh, you can easily do that and run it on NewPick, get the best performance. And some of the models we can run on NewPick are also uh, support Onyx based model. So uh, I encourage you reach out to our team to figure out your specific model needs, and we will figure out a way to support. So talking about the system requirements, uh, we probably mentioned multiple times, 
new pick can be run on CPU that no GPU is required. As a matter of fact, that example I show you is run on a very commodity uh, CPU hardware. It's on a AWS with eight core CPUs. So effectively, new pick can run on only x86 family CPUs. To get the best performance though, we do re encourage you to check it out for the Intel Xeon 4th or 5th gen of CPUs, which they provide the advanced metrics extension, uh, which helps to accelerate the CPU inference performance. Uh, but in general, you can run NewPick on only x86 CPUs. We have specific product documentation, which talk about the hardware requirement to run NewPick. You can check those out for details. Great. Thanks, Andy. Um, there are a couple questions about models too. Um, so someone's asking about Llama 3. Um, mm -hmm. And then just in terms of generally in the model library, can you run models other than the new pick optimized models? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, I can take this one. So yeah, as I mentioned, you know, we want to make sure we can cover uh, the enterprise need to run the AI driven application. So yes, you do have the choice to run new pick optimized model, which we believe give the best speed and the accuracy uh, proposition. But at the same time, it's very easy to bring a state of art open source model to run on new pick. As a matter of fact, with new pick deployed, there are already some state-of-art open source model include. So this week, we just uh, released the latest NewPick, which allow you to run Lama 3, 8 billion in NewPick. So that's very exciting news to share. Awesome. Okay. Um, we had one come in through the chat. Um, Sophie, I'm going to give this one to you. Um, someone's um, looking for a way to, is there a way that I can try out new pick and get a closer look at the features? <laughs> yeah, really the best, the best next step for you all is, is to, to talk to us, to, to request a, a use case consultation. So we can certainly work with you, um, on more of a technical evaluation, but we also have some documentation available at docs.numenta.com. That'll give you a better sense of, of the features and, um, and the requirements that, that Andy mentioned as well. So. I encourage you to look there and, and reach out. Right. Okay. Um, there's a question. Are there any plans to expand to computer vision or other domains beyond NLP and LLMs? Yeah, I can I can take this one. Oh, I you think, want to take that too? <laughs> I think we have um we have a long, very exciting roadmap. You know, there are certainly other applications that we're excited to to integrate with, but um, you know, for now, the the focus is on you know NLP applications and and LLMs. But um, yeah, computer vision is is down on the roadmap at some point. <laughs> great, great. Um, all right. Well, if we didn't have time to get to um, your question, we will follow up with you afterwards. And of course, um, you can. Uh, Send go to numenta.com slash get started and send us a message through there as well. Um, request a free use case consultation. And um, we look forward to to talking with you and and as Sophie said, figuring out how NewPick can help your organization. So thank you all for joining today or whenever you're listening. And um Andy, Sophie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Everyone. Thanks. <laughs>